my name is Mark Stilo. I'm the program engineering manager on the Camaro Z28. So today we'll kind of walk you through some of the features on the on the car. Well, we're gonna start off on the front of the car. If you can kind of sneak through the, the the grill here, you can see that we added an extra cooler here in the uh, in the front of the car. So what that does is what we're doing is we're taking uh, coolant out of the side of the block, we're running it forward chilling it through that, then we're bringing it back and running it through the oil to water oil cooler here. We needed to keep our oil temperatures under control, so we upsized the cooler quite a bit from what was in a Corvette Z06. You can see the, the dry sump lines here come forward up to the dry sump tank here in the front of the car, and that's so as we're, as we're running the car hard on the track, we got a nice vertical column of oil to keep the oil pressure squared away, keep the engine reliable and durable, and that's another kind of a carryover system from the Corvette Z06, so it's very test it out, we just kind of refined it for the Camaro Z28. And we, with this package, the oil, the, the whole cooling system works a lot better. Some of the other things we did while we're here in the front of the car is we, we've got very large brake cooling ducts. The carbon ceramic brakes need quite a bit of airflow because all their heat transfer is uh, not to, is all radiant heat, so you need to get the heat out of the wheel. So we got the nice big Brembo carbon ceramic brakes on the car. Another interesting thing that we did on the, on the Z is you see right here is the, is the wheel position sensor. So we, we kept all four uh, position sensors from the ZL1 MR system to feed into the controller for our performance traction management. So we want to know what the contact patch is doing on all four tires and we can feed that into the PTM performance traction management and dial in the optimal, optimal track patch so we can get good uh, acceleration. So much so that the, as, we, as, as the car gets airborne, like the Nurburgring, it'll sense all four wheels are drooping, and that allows us to, to know, the, the computer to know, okay, the rear tires may be spinning, that's because the car is unloaded. So you know, keeping these sensors in the car, integrating that system in, really works great on the car. The other thing we, put, we did on the Z28, is this is the first application of the uh, Pirelli Trofeo R uh, tire. So this tire uh, comes from Italy, it's built in the same shop as the Formula One tires for, uh, for Pirelli. So it, it's, a, it's an extremely aggressive tire. Uh, it's a 60 treadwear tire. So the tire is a key part of our, of our package here. The other interesting thing we did on the car is here's the cooler lines for the TR6060 Tremec 6 speed. These are the, the cooler lines. So we have a little Gerotor pump in here. We pump the transmission fluid forward. We go through a heat exchanger in the bottom of the radiator. Then we take that fluid and we pump it all the way back to the back of the car. And we go through a oil to oil heat exchanger in the differential. So that chilled oil comes back here, goes through the rear diff, and then that fluid is still cool enough. We go back up to the transmission and it, maintain, it keeps both the trans and the dif differential at the peak operating temperatures. But we used a, a Torsen style differential to get our torque bias ratio better to where we wanted than with a conventional plate style differential. In our testing on our Milford Road course, which is you know, like in the minute 54 second type lap times, putting the torsion in allowed us to take seven tenths of a second off our lap time. So it was another big enabler on the car to really keep it a track focused car. To keep the LS7 making 505 horsepower, we, we put as big an as exhaust on this as possible. Uh, we've got some stamp steel tri-y style headers. It necks down a little bit here for emissions reasons. Then it immediately goes up to a three inch diameter pipe. Then the rest of the system is uh, two and three quarters of an inch. So we really optimize the, the inlet restriction on the front. We can put a nice big flowing k and filter on the front of the car to get air going in very easily. Then on the discharge side to, to keep the 505 horsepower, you know, we need a like, really good flowing exhaust system. The tri-wide manifolds also enabled us to tune the exhaust a little bit and make a little bit more torque in the LS7 in the Camaro application than in the Corvette. But we have exhaust valves, so as you're cruising down the highway, this valve is closed. It keeps the exhaust, it's still fairly uh, manly sounding, but it keeps it less of a, keeps the drone out of the car. And when you go to wide open throttle, these valves open up, and this system's essentially a, almost a straight through system. So we really have very minimal back pressure in the car and uh, it works really well.